Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Virginia Tech Show. I'm your host, Kent Reese. Yesterday, I was going to do my normal let's talk about the quarterback video. Yesterday, we were going to talk about who we was going to talk about, about quarterback Pop Watson. William Pop Watson is his full name. But something something has changed. I've done these videos before. I did on Jason Brown, Grant Wells, and last year I did Grant Wells in um common drones. Dash the food spring um spring practice was about competing for the number job. This year was competing for the for the number two job and it looks like that was it last Saturday. I guess I'm gonna reveal myself. I usually hint this the quarterback. I usually hint the quarter who's my prediction prediction of the quarterback in my last video. I was basically not not, not talking about one of the quarterbacks that much. I didn't talk about Don Wilkins the victory that much. That much the other day. Why didn't do my last talk to the quarterback Pop Watson yesterday? Well lot like I said, things have changed yesterday. And we got people in the transfer portal. That one of them was Don Lick Mickey. So today is different. As you know, I, I am predicting that Pop Watson will be the number two quarterback. That's what was, that was the plan for today's video. And yesterday's plan was originally talk about the quarterback, Pop Watson. And as you know, there you yeah, have Pop Watson most likely is going to be the number two quarterback since Rick Wickens has gone. Hi, but however, we do got our... But we, we do got our two quarterbacks in the wash roster is on scholarship that was Lockner and result. I can't pronounce his name, sorry. Is that Pop Watson was probably gonna be the number two quarterback because Pop Watson performed better in the spring. He uh, first half Dylan Lickens did with in the later half the spring Pop Watkins did. Pop Watson's thrown a couple of touchdowns in the spring scrimmage. Pop Watson, as you know, have was let's see here, was thirteen and twenty one, hundred and thirty yards, zero passing touchdowns. He had two rushing touchdowns. Lick Lickens have was five and eight, forty four yards, no touchdowns. They both had a couple of sacks by the defense, one of them by Keyshawn Bonjo Bongo. If you know what I mean, why what do I mean? So, but however, we need one more quarterback. It looks like the, we're going to get that, not the other quarterback, Davy Balford. He would be here this summer. This summer, he's a summer in Roman. He would be practicing in the fall. However, Davy Balford then it looks like he might come try to come for the job this fall. However, Davy Balford is a true freshman and he didn't miss and didn't participate in spring practice. And he's a true freshman, freshman, and he needs to wear a shirt. Could Virginia Tech? Brent Pry said on Saturday, "Is Pop Watson for Pop Watson and 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 he said is Pop and Dylan a good? Obviously, Dylan and Pop could could be ready by September. Maybe that's." Maybe. Could we take that risk as well? Probably said. I would probably say that on Saturday. There was also some talks. There's possibility that Virginia Tech could go to the portal a while back about going to get a bed from a quarterback so we can don't so we can just in case drones get hurt. That wasn't that it looks look like looks like with Pop Watson and Wilkins being retro freshman. Yeah, it looks like we're not gonna do that because if I was a backup quarterback, be basically saying you basically getting him to compete for not compete for the job, but be the backup. Maybe compete next year against Pop. I don't know. But now it looks like we could go back to that direction and get a quarterback since Lincoln's week Mickey is out. Is out. Should we go to continue that risk? I believe if possible we can. But Power I said Saturday should we take the risk? It looks like looks like that we could get a quarterback from the portal to compete to, to be a veteran backup under drones and under pop. I can't blame Wickens for the transfer portal. He only played one year of high school and 
majority of the, sp- the spring game, he was only didn't got no full time reps. The only person that did that was Pop Watson in the orange team. He got more reps, reps. He was following food behind Common Drones when Common Drones only played half of the first quarter. Basically, the whole entire first quarter. Anyway, I'm, I am, in conclusion, I am projecting that Pop Watson will be the number two quarterback the whole entire time, and that's basically what I'm still going through. Yes, we're going to go through for a quarterback, and, and um, most likely, we could, I could be wrong, we could be going to get, since Lickens is out, we could get a quarterback in the portal. But that you know something. Don't get too suicidal about his quarterback if that happens. He didn't participate in spring, Virginia Tech spring. He participated in another team spring, but he needs to develop up in the the system when he comes by this August. Anyway, I also got a say on the Virginia Tech show. Show and and plus Davy Balfour is rich is a uh, is a freshman. And he needs to redshirt. However. We might not, if in the case we don't get a quarterback on that recruited quarterback, it's a possibility that um that about four might be forced to play third string and maybe pull his redshirt. But I am calling for it for getting a quarterback to get a quarterback from the portal so we don't have to burn Dabby Balfour's redshirt. Most important thing as long as Strong stays healthy, we'd be fine. We could take that risk. But again, could you could you do it? Once the drone was drones and Pop Watson died by a four number three quarterback. I think I believe we might get a backup quarterback. I believe it's possible that we might go to the portal. Could be wrong for a quarterback so if we can compete for his, the job, be the backup. I won't blame the quarterback that doesn't want to come because it is the backup. Let's say drones does not come back. I just to say we reason we do have practice and drones to come back and this be a quarter with two quarterbacks to battle in twenty twenty five. Anyway, in conclusion, I believe the whole entire time the Pop Watson's gonna be the number two quarterback. He was well I saw the spring. He got two rushing touchdowns and he was um twenty one, a hundred and thirty thirty yards. That's saying Pop Watson I believe is gonna be the number two quarterback. And could the could we go to the portal and get a could we go to the portal and get another quarterback? Probably so. Probably that said, should we take that risk? Other than the seven, maybe could we take that risk? Anyway, those are guys in Virginia Tech show. This is I'm basically done talking about the spring um football until this August. Right now, I guess we talk. Uh, there's gonna be news about transfer portal and also the recruiting and commitments. I am projecting. I did this last August. I did a poll out back. I'm going to do this poll again. Under two polls today. Should Virginia Tech go to the portal and get a quarterback? And another poll. Poll. I am projecting. I'm just one small group of people. I believe Tech is going to win 10 games this season because of what I saw from last year. Do y'all think Tech is going to win 10 games? Let me know in the comments section. I'm also going to do a poll. Anyway, that's going to say about my p- point of view about Pop Watson being number two quarterback and Kobe. Since Winky, Winky is out. Should we go to, and should the quarterback should we go to the portal and get a quarterback? Anyway, let you know. Let me let me know in the comment section about this video. If you like this video, like, comment, click, subscribe, and really help me out. Thank you so much for watching the Virginia Tech show. Like, comment, click, subscribe, and really, really help me out. Let's go, Hokies.